Hello to my sewist and general crafters out there. How are you doing today? What are you making? I'm getting ready for my scrap quilt retreat weekend. If you haven't been on a quilt retreat, you really need to consider going on one because you can get so much done in one weekend. This quilt is an example of what you can achieve in one weekend if you prepare just a little bit. I will be discussing at the quilt retreat rectangles, squares, and strings because those are the bits that are usually left over from all of the quilts we make. So we all have plenty of scraps. Usually, they look like this. Actually, they usually look quite a bit worse because they're in bins and bags and maybe even just thrown all over the floor. I, for one, I'm so glad I had to get ready for this quilt retreat because it helped me to clean up my sewing studio tremendously. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Anyway, back to this quilt. It just takes this simple segment to make this block. The reason why I've chose that segment for this scrap quilt retreat is because it's very versatile. I can make that simple block or I can make this block and I even have two other blocks that we're gonna discuss at the quilt retreat. The other thing that comes out of quilt retreats is learning from each other. One of the things that I'm gonna share is how I organize my scraps. Because that segment is one of my favorites, I have it organized in acrylic containers all over my sewing area. They look, my scraps look neat in storage, simple drawers, already lined up as you can see or in containers ready to be sewn together. I even have them patterns on top so that I know exactly what I will be sewing with the scraps in this container. Don't want to use a re reusable container like this? Buy a few. Just find the ones that's right for you. As you can see, I have plenty. The beauty about this as well is that even if I don't get to sew all of those, I can just give them away. And those scraps have a new home where they'll be stitched up and made into a beautiful quilt as soon as possible. I actually would prefer for them to be used than just sitting around in my sewing space. Because like most, like most quilters, I have more than enough fabric to sew in my lifetime. I am very happy to pass on a little bit of, let's say, happiness to someone else. Anyway, I need to get back to getting ready for this quilt retreat. Watch out for the last two videos that I will share on st strings and squares. And I'll give some examples that I can actually share with you. But do know, in a quilt retreat, we're going to discuss it in far more detail so that everyone will produce the quilt that they want to and have the overall look that is right to their palette. Bye for now.